Hey, Grace Church, Michael Campbell here. Hey, I just wanted to share a few quick things regarding this week's lesson that, as always, don't only apply to our children, but also apply to ourselves. So this week, we learned the story of Jesus healing the blind man, which was very common to him. But we're going to see him take mud and dirt and spit in it and put it on the blind man's eyes and heal him. Now, before that happens in the story, we see his disciples um, ask him, he's like, hey, this guy is blind. What happened? He must have had sin in his life. And I think something to notice is contextually, this was a very prominent practice that when you are affected by suffering or hurt, usually it was attributed to either your parents or you were reincarnated and the life you had before was a bad life. So now you're kind of being punished for this. It's something called karma. So it was very popular that day for people to assume that just because somebody had an affliction, they also were sinning because of their parents or they had just sinned. There are times in our lives where we endure suffering not because of us. And we see that specifically with the example of Job, where he was a righteous man in every way and God still allowed the suffering to come his way. So it's pretty easy to say that God had a mission for this blind man and his, his desire was to have him be glorified through the healing of this man. So he takes the spit, he takes the mud, he puts it on his eyes, and he says, I need you go to the pool of Siloam, which is sent, which is funny because he is the sent one telling this man to go to the pool sent, which is kind of interesting. But he's healed, he washes it away, and Jesus is out of the picture. And all the religious leaders are, are furious. They're like, wait, what? You, this got healed? Who was it? How did you get healed? And he's like, I don't know who it was. All I know is I was blind and now I can see. And honestly, as parents, this is one of the most beautiful images in scripture. And we can see it in the song Amazing Grace that we are blind and now we see. We are all spiritually blind. And if it wasn't for God opening our eyes, we would be in the same place as this man. So I wanted to challenge you as parents to really evaluate your life and see um, how God has graciously provided for you and saved you and given you sight to the things that the world doesn't see. Because there's certain stuff that Christians see with convictions and things that, that the other world doesn't care about. They're so calloused to, but God has opened our eyes that there is a lost and dying world out there that needs saving. And that's particularly why Jesus came. So let me give you three questions real quick that you can ask your children this week. And uh, hopefully it creates really good discussion with you guys. The first one is, how is being in sin like being blind? How is being in sin like being blind? Second question is, if you've trusted in Jesus, how has your life changed? How has your life changed? And the last question is, how would you respond if someone told you, who is Jesus? That's such a great question to ask your, your children to do. And it's a good practice to get your children comfortable with talking about Jesus to other people, whether that's another child in the neighborhood or an adult bagging groceries, whatever it is. It's really important to create a habit of talking about Jesus publicly as a parent, so your children see that acted out. And you'd be surprised um, how many opportunities you have to talk about Jesus when you're actively looking for it. So again, hopefully you were encouraged by the story a little bit more than, than we're presenting on Sunday. So God bless you guys. Take care and uh, hopefully see you soon. Bye-bye.